One of the, one of the, the things that manufacturers are struggling with is, I don't have those things. I don't even really know what you're asking for. We, have, we don't have them. We don't store them. We don't keep them in our system. But I'm going to show you that you probably do and you may not realize it. I'm going to do this right the first time. I didn't do it the last one. How many manufacturers do we have in the room? Okay. All right, but half this time. This is pretty much focused on you, the distributors. I'm looking for your input and your, your add-ons to what I'm going to show here to help. More popcorn. I think we just need to go to the movies right now. <laughs> <laughs> we want horror movies or funny movies? I got them all. Kids' movies and that, too. But the said initiative came out of the question that was being asked. Distributors are saying to manufacturers, I need attributes. I need your marketing descriptors. I need all of this stuff so I can build my online catalog. Manufacturers are saying, yeah, okay, uh, we have them, but it's going to take some time to get them to you. Distributors are like, well, I don't have time. I'm kind of building myself. Or I'll get somebody else to do it You can't get it to me fast. You've got them, but I'll find them somewhere else. The reason for this is because, as Bob said this morning, this is a digital marketplace. There is no doubt that everything is happening and it's happening fast. Distributors are now competing with the Grangers, now with Amazon, and I think somebody else I just heard too, is now selling electrical products online. They don't even have to store them or stock them, but they're selling the products. And they've got the information. Whether they got it from the manufacturers, or they got it from somebody offshore, or they got it from scraping somebody else's website. They're getting it because they have to have them in order to compete. This is typical. These, these, hey, some of this information is not necessarily coming from a manufacturer. One of the things that we were talked about last year we were looking up Hubble products, Googling Hubble products. Hubble wiring devices. There's actually a company called HubbleWiringDevices.com. It's not Hubble. But you believe it was because it looks the same. They scraped images from Hubble site. They're putting attributes to the products. They're getting them wherever. And they're selling the products at a cheaper price. And it's probably a knockoff. It's probably a counterfeit. But unless you, until you get it in your hands, and even then, sometimes you don't know, or you try to implement and it blows up, you don't know that you're actually getting real goods. So distributors have to have this information. Manufacturers put it on their website, but is that realistic to expect every one of your customers, and your customers' customers, to go back to your website to get it? You need to facilitate the ease of selling products to your supply chain in whatever way you can, electronically. This type of thing, online catalogs, manufacturers have the websites. So does Ranger. Typical, oh, there we go, okay. One of the things is, well, what do I need? Okay, spec sheets. Set items. S for spec sheets. Attributes, there goes the lights again. Images, <coughs> descriptions. I made about four phone calls earlier in the spring when we had manufacturers coming back and saying, I don't have those. 